Hello and welcome to another very interesting section for our classes. Today we're going to be looking at literature in English, very importantly. Uh, during the last class, we looked at important genres, three drama, prose, and poetry. And very, very importantly, I'm going to introduce you guys to our new platform, educateafrican.com. Go there, get registered, and have free lectures. That is where people are learning now. You can also download our app. Chat me up on WhatsApp. Send me hi. Tell me to send you the app. I'll send you the app. It's basically a CBT app that has connection to our website. You can learn a little lot free, and you can use it. Okay, just, so let's just get down the lay down, okay? Uh, we looked at drama, types of drama, where we looked at tragedy, comedy, tragedy, comedy, melodrama, and farce. And we looked at uh, in details what these types mean. And we went on to look at the techniques involved in the drama, where you have to have characterization, having the actors, the characters that are supposed to take part. We looked at a dialogue. We said that drama is all about dialogue. One and another person having a conversation. Then we looked at flashback, how we remind people watching our drama of what had earlier happened. Looked at mine where, where we say it's all about gesture, costume, and the regalia, the, 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 the makeup, the, the, the weirs, the clothes that are worn during the film. Look at the music and dance, very, very important aspect of drama, music and dance. We looked at the act, dancing, and uh, other things. We also went to the part to looking at what their meanings are. Then we looked at interpretation of this. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. In the other text, in the other lecture we did, I did not mention the um, the, the 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 novel that we're going to be using. So let me take. I, I'm seeing some people that are in science class here. So let me take this opportunity. Uh, blessing. Are you guys aware that the novel is a uh, so this is the novel that you guys are supposed to read. Can you see my screen very well? I can see it very well. Let me bring it closer to the camera. Yes, yes, yes. The life changer, can you see? Yes, I can see it now. Uh, can yes, see I can it? see it. Yes, sir. OK, so this is the novel you guys are going to read. So my teachers are currently working on summarizing this novel. So in the next English class, I will send you guys a summary of this novel. We're going to also look at it in the next English class. So it's going to be a very interesting and interactive class. So you guys should tune in. Do uh, you guys know the days we have English? Yes, sir. What day? On Tuesday. No? Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. We have physics on Monday, physics and government. Then on Tuesday, we have um, chemistry and economics. It's on Wednesday that we have English. So uh, during the English class, we are going to look at the summary. We are already working on this already, me and my teacher. So we are summarizing it already. So by the next class, we should be able to give you the summary so that you just look at it and have a rough sketch of all possible questions that you can be getting from this. So very important. Tune in. Also, you can get the copy of the summary on our website, educateafrican.com. We'll summarize it, we'll put it there. Once you go to the website, you see the link, click on it. The PDF will be on your phone so that you can easily read it. So in T-Class, right now, in uh, educateafrican.com or T-Class, the parent company, T-Class, right.com, we are dedicated to helping students pass their jams and their work in flying colors. Uh, but you have to really follow suit in learning. Uh, our lectures on Educate Africa, on our, our daily live streaming like we're having here, you need to follow up. If you don't follow up, you will not be able to get uh, what you intend to get. So please, uh, always make sure that you follow up. We don't uh, normally wait for more um, people to, to, to hook up in time. Our time is our time. Once it's six, we start. We don't wait for anybody. So, because we'll find out that if you don't do like that, students will not take their lecture seriously. That's why we'll, we'll make sure that we'll, uh, we'll start with our time. So today we're going to be looking at pros. We've looked at drama. I will say that drama is story told in action by impersonators, uh, impersonators known as actors. 
acting out the plot. That's what drama is. We looked at the various types and the characteristics of drama. Today we're going to be looking at another style of literature known as prose. So prose, this term implies to all forms of written or spoken expressions which do not have a regular rhythmic pattern. Who can tell me if it has a regular rhythmic pattern? What would what style of literature would it have been? Can anybody tell me the type of literature that has a regular rhythmic pattern? Poetry. Poetry, yeah, poetry. So it would have been poetry. But now we're talking about prose. Prose is just written. Prose is when you're writing. Let's say you want to write a biography of somebody. You want to write about somebody's life. It's just, it's just a direct story. So when it is about what really happened, we call it non-fiction. But when it is about something that did not happen, like somebody just writing a film from his head, we call it fiction. Fictions are things that did not happen, uh, written prose that did not happen. But the ones that happen, real life story, story about how Mandela, who knows, who knows who Nelson Mandela is here? Luai say you do know who they call Nelson Mandela, Madiba. Yes. Yeah. Who is he? Who is he? I don't really know, but he's from South Africa. Okay, South Africa. Good. At least you have an idea. Blessing. Blessing. Do you know who they call Nelson Mandela? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like you yeah. like watching only Nigerian movies, African magic, huh? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Nelson Mandela. Uh, a former president of South Africa. He fought for the independence of South Africa, mostly during the apartheid. So uh, somebody could uh, write about somebody as big as... Nelson Mandela is one of the most important black man that has lived in this, on this planet. So you can decide to write about his life on Earth. Call it, uh, you write his biography. Uh, if it is written by himself, by the person writing it, we call it autobiography. So we're going to be looking at all those under this prose. So let's go to, let's continue. So the term uh, prose uh, applies to all forms of written and spoken expression which do not follow a regular uh, rhythmic pattern. It is most, most often meant to designate a conscious, cultivated writing, not merely bringing together of uh, vocabularies. Okay. So, uh, Let's uh, look at types of prose. Okay, so I, like I told us, there are two major types of prose. We have what we call the fiction and non-fiction. And like I told us, fiction is when you're just writing something out of your imagination. It did not happen. If you write about Nelson Mandela, a prose, a prose about Nelson Mandela, everybody knows that Nelson Mandela once lived. So it is a non-fiction. But when you're writing about something that did not happen, you're just writing out of your imagination. You're imagining uh, uh, Wakanda. Who knows the film they call Wakanda? Uh, who has watched Transformer? Luasi, have you watched Transformer? What oh. of coming to America? Have you watched coming to America? Have you? Okay, you guys are not into films. Okay, so most of those films are they are called fictional films. Like somebody just took a deep thought and started writing about it. So when you write out of your imagination, think you think about things you think about, we'll call it fiction. But when you write about things that actually happen, we'll call it non-fiction. Okay, so fiction. This is the term used for narrative writing drawn from imagination of the author rather than from history or fact. So when you're writing from history or fact, we we'll call it non-fiction. Uluwase, tell me the difference between fiction and non-fiction as types of prose. Prose. Fiction is a narrative writing drawn out of your imagination. Why non-fiction is a narrative writing which you form or compose by yourself? Non-fiction. No. No, it's down is a real story. Yes, down is a real story. So what is non-fiction? Tell me what non-fiction is. 
It's a written, it's a narrative writing that is real. That is real, good, real. That is about history, it's about facts. Facts are real. History are real, things that happened before. So when they are real, they are facts, they are from history, you call it non-fiction. But when they are out of imagination, just out of thinking, we call them both fiction. Okay, the term is mostly frequently associated with novels and story. Like I told you, most novels that you see, they are not what has happened. People just read them out of their mind. So they are all fiction, novels and stories. So the chief function of a fiction is to entertain. They write in order to entertain. But it often serves also to instruct or to edify or to persuade people or to arouse or even to incite. So people write all this to entertain you, make you feel happy when you're reading the novels. It is one of the major devices by which human beings communicate their visions of nature and reality in concrete terms. To sum it up, fiction is any unreal story. So fictions are unreal. Any unreal story which deals with invented people and events. And this is because writers of such work in their imagination closely imitate or copy what happens in life. Okay, so let's look at examples of fiction. So examples of fictions are novel and novelette. So novels are used to name and designate and designate any extended fictional prose narrative. Um, very good examples of prose are Things Fall Apart by Chino Achebe. Does anybody here know who Chino Achebe is? Yes, sir. Okay. He's the person that wrote Things Fall Apart and even wrote a recent uh, work uh, known as There Was a Country. It's a very uh, popular uh, text that deals with. Uh, the, the, the civil war in Nigeria. So he wrote about it. Chido Achebe is a very, uh, I think they call him the father of uh, African uh, literature. He, he did Things Fall Apart. His work, Things Fall Apart, is one of the uh, most translated uh, book of literature in the whole world. So he's a very important person in literature. Then Wole Inka, we all know him. He's still alive. He's a very, he's a, he won the Nobel laureate, very, very important human being also in the literature. So, uh, you guys have to know about him. So both of them are very popular people and they wrote novels. Then we have novelettes, which applies to works of prose fiction of intermediate length. So their lengths are not as long as uh, novels. So they are pretty shorter than normal novels, okay? The example is the Ma uh, Manama's Pass, uh, so long a letter. So that the novelet so long a letter is an example of this type of uh, uh, fictional writer. Okay. So let's look at uh, other uh, types known as non-fiction. We looked at fiction. Let's look at non-fiction. So non-fiction is the opposite of fiction, and it's simply this with true experiences and happenings. So when you talk about non-fiction, they are telling you about what actually happened. Every story is real. So non-fiction means prose writing that deals with facts. Very good examples of non-fiction are autobiography. I told us autobiography is a story about somebody, the way he has lived, written by that very person. So once it's written by the same person, he's talking about himself, then we'll call it autobiography. But when you have biography, that is the story about somebody, but written by other people is biography. But when it is written by the person that the, the book is talking about, then we call it autobiography. So take note of these two types of prose, uh, non-fictional prose, autobiography and biography. So let's get this. So autobiography, this is the story of a person's life as written by that person. So story of somebody's life written by yeah, that very yeah. person is known as autobiography. Example is My Early Life by Obafemi Awolowe, Zambia Shall Be Free by mm -hmm. Kenneth Kwanda, mm -hmm. My Odyssey mm -hmm. by Nnamdi Dazikiwe. Uh, most of you are know about Nnamdi Dazikiwe, isn't it? Yes, sir. And most of us here also know about Chief Obafemi Awolowe, isn't it? Yes, sir. 
But both of them wrote stories of their life. And when somebody writes a story of his life, we call it auto, 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 autobiography. So this is against the next one we're going to be looking at. When somebody writes about another person, the story of another person's life, we call it biography. So this is written account of a person's life written by another person. For example, if he wrote a book about this life, such a book by A is, I, is a biography. Very good examples are Life and Death of Lenin, written, written by Robert Payne, and The Prince of the Niger, written by J.D. Amota. So, uh, I'm going to ask us questions now. This is time for questions. Uh, this, I think this is where we're going to be stopping. Let me ask you guys questions before we get into... Uh, Before we get into uh, poetry, poetry is the next thing we are going to be looking at. So let me ask us some questions. Um, I'll be taking us one by one. I'll start with blessing. Bless. Listen, what are the two types of crowds? Pros. What are the two types? Two types of pros. Fiction and non-fiction. Fiction and non-fiction. Okay, so I'm going to ask the next person. Oluwase, what's the difference between fiction and non-fiction? Fiction is an imaginative writing that is not real. Why? Meaning. Why um, non-fiction is a right thing that is real? Good. Perfect. It's English. Uh, Lamin Jata, URR. What yes. is um, what's the difference between an autobiography and a biography? With examples. Hello, Master. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I that discourse and I was not in due to the connection problem. So I, I'm just entering right now. But autobiography, this is the this is the story of a person's life as written by that that person. Okay. Well biography is a is a is a story written by somebody. By somebody. By autograph is a is a story that is written by somebody. That is the real thing I understand there because I, I, I don't enter there early. Okay, you just joined the class. So a biography is also written a story of a person's life, but this time around written by another person. Another person, exactly. Yeah. But if it is written by the same person that the story is talking about, then we'll call it autobiography. I would say that a good examples are my life, my early life yeah, by Apafemi Awolowo. So this, yes. my early life, is a story about Obafemi Awolo, and it, it was written by Obafemi Awolo. And yes. Zambia shall, yes. shall be free is a story right. about yes. Kenneth Wanda, and it's written by Kenneth Wanda. And my Odyssey yes. is a story about Namda Zikiwa, and it's written by Namda Zikiwa. So we call them autobiography. But that biography are uh, on stories yes. about somebody's life, but written by another person. Another the life and death of Let me. learning is written by Robert Payne. Yes. So you can see a different person lighting about a different yeah. person. Okay. So very importantly, like I told us, you can get to our new platform, educateafrican.com, start yeah. taking classes there. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the novels and many things, even the novels that you guys are going to be using, this is for those people in Nigeria writing down, this is the novel you guys are using. Uh, it's called The Life Changer. We're going to summarize this number and put it up on our website, Educate Africa. Make sure you are there to see. Uh, we're go also going to be summarizing the other novels that are supposed to be read by literature students. I'll be summarizing and be putting them up on our website, EducateAfrican.com. That is the best place as a student for you to be in. Make sure you install our app. We need to send you our app. The app, we're putting it on Google Play Store very soon. But because it's not yet there, 
I can simply send it to you so that you install on your phone. So okay, installing you can send it is very, very, very uh, yeah. I guess you are having my number. You can send it through my WhatsApp there. Yeah, I can send it to your WhatsApp. Tap me up, say, say hi to me and tell me that I should send you the chat, the oh. app. So through the app, you can get to our, our this is our online platform, Educate Africa, so that you can take the lectures free from there. Okay, okay. thank you guys very much. Uh, I see you guys when I see you. Thanks for joining. It's, it's always my pleasure to have you. Thank you and God bless. Yeah.